Get serious and do a proper intro. Be serious. Serious. Okay. Now let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm called Eloma Carol and I film about relationships, growth, lifestyle. And I'm here again giving you guys back to back bass boost. And I'm here again with another video for you guys. And so in today's topic, we're going to be talking about third parties in relationships and how they actually affect our relationships. Now wait. Are they even necessary in a relationship? Let's get talking. So the first thing is, what's actually third parties role in the relationship? And are they even really necessary? in that relationship to begin with to me what my personal take i'm not going to be sharing my personal takes or my personal ideas or my personal opinion on the subject matter what i say is not the gospel truth it can obviously be it can differ from you it can change it can whatsoever so this is just my own personal take so make sure you leave your own take on the subject matter down in the comment section what you think about this third party issue because we are seeing a lot lots of cases we are seeing that third parties break relationships and third parties make relationships like does that even make sense i hope it does because first of all must a third part must every relationship have a third party? I'm sure. Maybe, maybe not. But most relationships nowadays have third parties in them. You always have that one person whom when you have issues with your partner, there's this one person who always comes and intervenes. Be it your friend, his mother, those who are in that level of relating with mother in laws, his friend, his mother or your friend or his aunt or somebody close to him there's always that one person who always knows everything about your relationship and always intervenes in all your issues i personally think that situations where you actually need a third party to come in in your relationship yes and i do think that there are situations where the third party is not even necessary but I have seen third parties work quite all right for other people, help them mend their relationships and take them higher. But my question is, will these third parties be there all the time? I mean, you're dating this person. There are certain times, what if this third party dies tomorrow and you're married to this person? So you get stuck and you don't know how to resolve your issues with this person because you're used to the fact that there is always somebody who comes to help you out to resolve your issue with this person. like. To me, uh, at one point, I just look at it like it doesn't make sense that you, there's a third party in the relationship always coming to intervene. You should handle your issues with your partner yourself. You guys should talk about it and come to a compromise and it will work perfectly. But again, there are situations where you actually need a third party because you can be, you can be communicating your life out with this person. And this person is the communication is just useless because the person does not understand you so understanding is key you guys might be having a particular issue and you guys are talking about the issue and still yet no changes like nothing is happening because one person is not understanding the other person so you need a third party now to come in to now help this other person and this third party should be somebody that you know and trust that this person is actually going to fulfill the purpose for which you're bringing the person into your relationship and it should not be something permanent it should be a temporal something something you're not bringing somebody to come and solve your relationship issues and all the time the person is there knowing everything that's happened in the ins and outs of the relationship no i don't think that should work that way if you see that this person is not understanding your point or where you're coming from you should 
you should now think of getting a third party and to me i think a third party if you're bringing somebody who, to come and help you solve your relationship issues it should be somebody who is older somebody who has more experience in all these things um, somebody who knows your partner better or who understands how some people reason or has a mastery or either a psychologist a counselor or if you want to go into his friend or your friend that's up to you but you should assess this person never take your relationship issues to your family because you forgive your partner but your family won't forgive your partner they'll keep on remembering that issue so if you don't feel okay telling that's why i i, I, will, I will always go for a counselor i, I will not I, will, I'm, I don't just like this whole friendship issues and you know friends have a way of doing certain things if it's a male friend, maybe you can understand that guys have the way of reasoning. But the tables have been turned around, guys. They used to say at first that girls gossip a lot, girls are the ones who gossip. Now at this, eh? I've seen guys who gossip than girls. Mm-hmm. I have seen it. Have you seen it as well? Please let me know in the comment section if you have actually seen guys who gossip more than girls nowadays. So I just feel like the fact that it's a boy is not actually very secure it's not like a 100 percent guarantee that okay it's going to be private but going to a counselor makes it look more professional the counselor knows how to handle certain things and he knows that it's his, it's his job to to try to solve the issue it's his job so i just feel that's the best option if you are going in for the option of bringing somebody into your relationship that's my take on the whole if a third party is really necessary and should a third party come in into the relationship who must be the third party i think that instances where i think a third party is not necessary at all i'm 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 the type whom i wouldn't want to involve people into my relationship until until it gets to that baddest baddest level and if a third party must come in i believe it should be a counselor i don't think I, I, i'm not in i'm not like not like i'm totally against you calling his friends or your friends or somebody who knows him or his mother it all depends on you whoever you think fit or deem worthy to serve the purpose for which you're calling him to and can actually do it so well you should go ahead but i will go for a counselor a relationship counselor a marriage counselor whatever counselor that will help solve the issue I will go in for that counselor. There are so many stories we have heard about a girl calling her friend to come and solve issues with her boyfriend. The friend turns around to to start um, liking the boyfriend and start making advances to the boyfriend and sleeps the boy. All those Nigerian films things. It's real. Nigerian film the act was real. It's happening. We are in Africa. It happens. Like. You can have an issue with your partner and you genuinely are looking for somebody to just console or some people they have that male friend but still that nothing happens like they are just pretty friends good friends they love they play they eat together and all that stuff it works but for other people i i don't think it's, it's the same for other people some people they might have this male friend, but once they start getting that close every time they have issues with their partner they go and tell the boy and the boy will be like yes where what happened? What 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 what, what, what eh, eh, how do they say is why am I the beef so no? You're such a pretty girl. Why should any man mistreat you and all those stuff and all those things they tell you start working into your psychology, start playing into your psychology like what have I done wrong? Why is this person because trust me your friend will never take the other person's side if it's not a good friend who will tell you right the what is wrong friends will always take your side so no matter the story you come and tell them they'll say yes you are right he's the person who is wrong he should come and beg you very wrong act so they start saying all those things and it starts working on you and you don't even, even want to even go and solve your relationship issues you just feel like your partner should come and beg you he's the one who did you wrong yeah so let me know down in the comment section what you actually think about bringing in a third party to help you in your relationship if it has worked for you or you are a victim of it negatively please let me know down in the comment section so you know we can all learn from this your own ideas or if it's necessary who you think is the best person to be a third party in your relationship and all the like 
we are talking about physical human beings. I don't want people coming to the comment section and telling me God is to be a temperance. He is already the first party. He is already there. He is already there before any other person is coming to add up to your life. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. I'm truly grateful. I'm. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to see you next week Sunday at 6 p.m. on Philly. Please come back. Okay? Okay. And if you haven't subscribed, please do this baby girl a favor. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified. The notification bell is by the subscribe button so you get notified each time I post a new video. Okay? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bye, guys.